Hi everyone, I'm Zeke, and you're watching The Zeke Show. Um, today I want to talk about uh, a series of conversations I've been having with a Jehovah's Witness who has been visiting me for about a year, more than a year now. Uh, the most wonderful gentleman, the most gracious person you could ever meet. And um, I talk, I've been talking about him previously in another video called The Tooth, The Chicken and The Pig. So you could watch that if you find this interesting. Um, something uh, this gentleman has been talking about uh, he says uh, something about um, idols yeah idols I idols are bad idols are forbidden and Je Jehovah says no idols and Moses came down from the mountain and they had built a, a calf a golden calf then he broke this no this is no good no idols and I've been to a, a uh, Jehovah's Witness me meeting uh, the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses and you can see there are no represent there's no pictures of Jesus there's no pictures of God no crosses nothing whatsoever except the word Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall this only is a sign that says Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall and that's it other than that there's no pictures no representations of anything holy whatsoever uh, so I, I, I was thinking about this, what, what this means, um, and I had the thought, isn't the word itself Jehovah? And the Bible, which the, I, I kind of feel he's fixated on this Bible as a, a message of Jehovah, and he worships it like it's God. It, that's what it seems like. He's obsessed about obeying what the Bible says and then conveying that to me so that I would do the same thing and then pass it on to others. So that seems to me kind of like a form of idolatry too. That Doesn't that seem to, like a, a, you're idolizing an object which you think represents God? Okay. So... I thought further about this and I meditated and I said, well, well if you want to find the true God, the, the concept of God itself has dissolved away and it's liberated me once I let go of the concept of God. Uh, and there's other videos that I've discussed that also, so I'm not going to go into detail about it now. Um, attention to me, attention is the highest, the highest, I don't want to even name it, attention, attention is, you, you put, you apply it to any object and it becomes that object, and um, I think if anything has to be it, it's attention. For me, I, I, because when I meditate, what am I, I'm doing, I'm purifying my attention. I'm removing, minimizing the thoughts that apply to attention. So I, I just get attention by itself. And those of us who have experienced pure attention, uh, you would know what I'm talking about. That, that's, in, that's what enlightenment is. It's just attention to attention itself. Um, And then this reminded me of another modality that I'm involved in right now, uh, which doesn't have a name. There's a person associated with it, uh, Janet Richmond. And I will provide a link to her videos on YouTube. Uh, she calls, refers to attention, what I call attention, as... Um, pure soul essence light pure soul essence light and she uses it 
divine light, divine light. Also, that's another way she refers to it. She uses it to uh, heal uh, negativity, uh, things like past traumas and uh, concepts and the uh, painful things that have happened in the past and heal, heal it, dissolve away negativity, um, neutralize it, she calls it, neutralize it, uh, dissolve it, neutralize it, let it go, the painful things, the, the beliefs, the misconceptions that we have in our minds that mislead us. So, uh, just part of a journey that I'm on right now, thinking about, I went to Jehovah's Witnesses to, and the bridge between what he's talking about and what Janet is talking about, I found it interesting and I'll let you know more once I discover more. Thank you. <laughs>